All right, we're recording with the Sanyo camera again. You can see that the date and time are on your screen. They're not completely accurate, but this is about as good as I've been able to get because this camera is a kind of funky. Uh, it's got back capacitors. I can smell them when the camera gets warm, and also when the camera gets warm enough, it'll actually stop working. So I'm trying to get this done as soon as I can. Uh, looks like we got a couple of wavy lines on the screen, maybe some distortion, I really don't know, but uh, anyways. I got a pack of these, I actually got four packs of these, so I could replace the batteries and cameras that had dead batteries, including this one, so it's got batteries in it now. Uh, the other one that I did was that one, and my zoom control doesn't work, I forgot about that. <laughs> this one, which also has bad capacitors. Um... We're not getting any focus, are we? There we go. Um, I want to test that camera because it's had a problem when I, when I went to, to go replay a recording that it had made. It, it was kind of weird, so I don't know if that camera works anymore or not. If it doesn't work, we'll do something with it. This isn't one of the cameras that I replace anything in. It's just kind of there. It may need a new battery, but obviously I've got some. So if it needs a new battery, I could give it a new battery. But I'm pretty sure I already gave it a new battery. I'm just going to use that to import the footage into the computer. There's some CDs I've been ripping. So this is just mainly some test footage. Can't do this for too long because obviously this camera's got bad caps. So it could die at any moment. Again, I got no zoom control, so this is about as good as I can hope for. The controls seem to be the the thing that have bit the dust on this, but like I said, if you let it get sufficiently warm, the the image sensor will shut off, so... Hmm, I don't know. And it'll start to act goofy, too. Like the control, the date and time will flash all eights or something weird like that. So we'll see if it actually manages to retain this when I turn it off. But uh, I think that's really going to do it for this this camera test, because this, uh, this camera's got a bad microphone anyway, so... It just mainly sits in that box, awaiting an interesting project. Maybe a capacitor replacement. And the other camera that we are testing recording on. This is the Sony, uh, what is this, CCD-TR51. I didn't like what I just saw there. The uh, viewfinder flashed for a minute. So I hope that this camera is still working, but I don't really know. This is the one that I was using before. This is the Sanyo. You get to see it in uh, much better lighting. Just a general look at it. Date is on your screen, obviously, as you can tell. I can only have the date or the time. This is another one of those cameras that's like that. I don't really know why that is. Sanyo could have both, and it's undoubtedly an older camera than this. The zoom actually works on this camera, so I could zoom if I really wanted to. Of course, I'm not holding it right. It's not fast zoom, either. There comes the picture distortions, and the audio distortions as well. Here's a new studio camera. Zoom is really slow on this. I don't have any focus. Wow. <laughs> this isn't working too well. I'm starting to smell... that fishy smell. So, there we go. Bad caps, cameras with bad caps, got a lot of those. Seems that most of these uh, camcorders are like that, unfortunately. It's really quite sad. I am going to have to record a video, re-record a video that I shot with this, because it uh, didn't quite turn out right. I don't know if that was the camera or if it just didn't turn out right, because it didn't turn out right. So here we can get another look at the CDs that I just ripped, mostly. Looks at other things. I don't know what that is. Probably a... What the hell is that? Going on outside. Hellacious racket, but uh, anyways. Audio quality probably sounds like butt. Even though the camera's got a really good microphone. It's only got 8x zoom. Oh, 6x zoom. I think I said 8x in the original video too, but it's only got 6x zoom. So, not a whole lot. Can't have both... Uh, I wonder what superimpose would do. Let's put memory in there and stream super. Oh, I guess I guess I can't really do that uh, when I'm recording. 
That's irritating. Yeah, it is one of those stupid street sweeper things. Well, not a street sweeper, but a uh, a driveway cleaner. So we'll see how this video turned out. Uh, but uh, I think that's really it. So, yes, thank you for watching. If you have any comments, do feel free to leave them down below. I'm seeing some serious picture distortion right now, so I think it really is just the time to stop. Thank like I said, thank you for watching. This is CP66 signing off. I hope to see you next time. Till then. Okay. Attempting to record on tape using the Sony Handycam CCD-TR36, and apparently it is actually working now. So, I don't know what the deal was before, or maybe it's intermittent, I can't really tell, but it is actually seeming to be working now. So, that was weird. Not really sure what the deal was there. So, it's either recording or it is, well, making good impression that it's actually recording. Tape is moving. And in what seems like the norm, apparently now the telephone's ringing. Gotta love that, eh? Every time I try to record a video, the telephone rings. Let's try some picture effects. Seems to be okay. Where's the fader button? I can't remember where the fader is. I don't think it's got a fader. Where's the fader button? I thought it had a fader on it. Maybe I'm an idiot. But I did have a fader. There we go. So the fader's on, so the fader will go off when I stop the recording, but uh, I just thought I'd give this thing a brief test anyways. It's... Mm, I don't really know. Well, now that I know that it records, it may not go in the studio setup. Because, of course, obviously it records. Haven't really decided yet. Picture quality is excellent on this camera. It really is. So, hopefully it is actually recording and not lying to me. Because that would be a shame. This is what the picture output looks like from this camera. As you can see, not very good. Actually, pretty horrible. That's yeah, really bad. I think this camera is about to fail, to be perfectly honest with you. Ooh. I gotta do its one job there for a minute, but I really do think that this camera is about to go kaputski, so we'll see how this turned out.